Hello my friends, today we're gonna make a frickin' hard stamped record style drop similar to Seth Hills in FL Studio 20. Alright my friends, we'll start by making a tight drum beat. Now we'll add some bass shots. The drop will actually consist of two parts. It will consist of this first half, which will have some hard bass shots, and this second half, which will have a lead melody and a bass line. We'll begin by making the first half, then we'll move on to the second half after. Now that we have a nice foundation for the first half of the drop, we can add more samples and stuff to make it sound big. We'll begin by adding some percussion. Then we'll add some more effects to add more energy to the drop. This is what we have so far guys. Now we'll make a nice synth fill to act as a transition into the second part of the drop. I added these two synth shots and controlled them with this cutoff automation. Now guys and gals, we can begin on creating the second half of the drop. As of now we just have a basic drum beat. We'll begin by creating a lead on top of it. The lead consists of a bass layer and Sarah playing this melody. Guys, we want to push the lead really hard and make it really dirty to add as much energy to the drop as possible. To achieve that, we'll add a few mixing effects. We're gonna start with an EQ to shape the sound. Then we'll add compression using OTT. Then another EQ to remove some ugly frequencies created by the OTT. Some compression and distortion using Camel Crusher. EQ, a soundizer to add some more power. And a final EQ to add some finishing touches on the lead. This is the lead without the mixing effects, guys. And this is with the mixing effects. I know it may sound a bit too dirty now, but trust me guys, when we've added all of the drop elements you won't notice that dirty sound, it will just add a lot of power to the drop. Let's also add some reverb on the lead, and control it with this reverb automation. And let's also add this percussion sound. Now guys let's add a nice sub bass. I just used a simple sub bass preset from Serum. And I added some distortion with fruity fast disc compression using OTT, a soundizer, and a couple EQs. This is what the sub bass sounds like with the mixing effects. Now my friends, we'll add a growl layer to add some groove and energy to the lead. I just used this growl preset from Vital. That plays this melody. This is what the drop sounds like without the growl layer. And this is with. As you can hear, it makes the drop a lot more groovy and less boring. Now we'll add a couple of energy loops on top to fill out the drop a bit. We're also gonna add some bass stabs. And we're gonna add a downlifter. And an energy clap loop. Now guys, we're gonna make a cool bass fill for the end of the drop. I started by adding the kicks from the rest of the drop, and I changed the rhythm from this. To this. Then I added some hard bass stabs. And I sidechained the bass stabs a bit to the kick using this volume automation on the stabs. After that I added some chords. I used a string chords layer playing these chords. And I controlled the chords using this volume automation. Lastly I reversed all the bass stab samples to add this cool transition into the fill. 
nice. Alright guys, that was all of the elements of the drop, but before I show you the final result I would truly appreciate it if you checked my future house sample pack. Link is in the description. Alright guys, here's the final result. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.